This is the Satin Lounge, where we celebrate creativity in the LGBT community and the universal language of love through music. Familiar creatures from the new CD, Fairy Tales, featuring the multi-talented Heather Peace, tonight's special guest in Pillow Talk. Welcome back, Heather. Hi. Did you like that? I loved it. I'm feeling that groove. It's nice (laughs) and easy. I like that so much. (laughs) You've been playing um, music for a while. You've been playing piano since you were like 10 and guitar since you were a teenager. I started piano when I was 7. Oh, my word. Yeah. I um, I was kind of lucky. I I was, well, went to church as a child. I was brought up a Catholic. And um, we had a lady who advertised in the church bulletin. Um, She believed music should be for free mm-hmm. and she lived in a little what we call a council flat over here which are kind of paid you know paid for by the government okay. and what they didn't know was um she was training 20 kids who couldn't have otherwise afforded wow. piano lessons because they were very expensive mm-hmm. um for free so yeah she was incredible her name was eileen cockcroft and she's not with us anymore god rest her but mm-hmm. what then investment. taught myself the guitar wow so you self-taught the guitar and you had this yep. beautiful spirit teach you the piano uh, yeah. I think I read somewhere that you enjoy music. It's actually your first love over the acting. I, I also came from I came from musical theatre care. Like as a kid, when you did amateur dramatics, mm-hmm. um, it tended to be musicals. And the bit that I wasn't very good at was the acting. And, and in a musical, you call it the libretto, so the dialogue. Uh-huh. Um, so I'd rush through the libretto to get to the big number because I knew I could sing. Okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> So when it came to choosing a drama school, there's mm-hmm. a lot of musical theatre drama schools in the UK, but there's also some really strict Stanislavski-based mm-hmm. classical training. And I already had the music, so I thought, you know what, the bit that I'm not very good at is the acting, so mm-hmm. I'm going to go to a really strict, so it's Shakespeare, Ostrovsky, Chekhov, wow. you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's full-on classics. Mm-hmm. And um, that's what I did. I went to a three-year, it was an acting degree, um, nothing to do with music. Cause I, and basically through my drama school training, I had a jazz residency in Manchester here in the UK mm-hmm. every Sunday. So I played there every Sunday for um, four years in the end. Um, the Northern accent, I, I come from Yorkshire, um, was quite trendy at the time on TV. And so when I left drama school and after doing a bit of theatre, um, I just started working in television and it, it just kept coming. Um, and so the music kind of went on the back burner. I never stopped doing it. Um, but without a record company and huge money at that time behind you, you couldn't mm-hmm. do it. But of course now with Twitter and Facebook and all right. of that, uh, you, you have a chance to promote yourself without having that major label back in. You know? Right. So the time is right. The time is now. Yeah. You wanted to just go and do what you loved. Uh, it's just really interesting to see this side of you creatively. I think it's it was a surprise to me. It's, it's really nice being so independent as well because um, we, I've got my manager and my, my PR team, there's only three of us. I've had complete creative control over this album and the second album I'm, I'm even more excited about. Um, mm-hmm. It's already half halfway completed and wow. I feel like I've grown, you know, I've sort of moved on already and, and grown as, as an artist and... It's just so wonderful not being signed to a label in the sense that I literally can do what I want with the sound and, and whatever mm-hmm. we do. Um, it's, it's just a thrill. Well, who are some of your musical influences? Are, is there anybody you'd love to collaborate with? I, I, I listened to Motown as a kid that led me to jazz. Um, and I was a massive Jackson fan, Michael Jackson, yeah, yeah. Stevie Wonder. For um, sure. And then Nina Simone is my favorite jazz singer. Really? Yeah, because Ella Fitzgerald to me sings the tune uh-huh. and Billy Holiday to me scats a little bit too much for my ear and okay. Nina Simone just sits in the middle she's an emotional storyteller in my opinion she's amazing she just sets her emotion right dead center inside the lyric and you just have to feel it you know I love Nina I Simone absolutely, as well. yeah I saw all of, all of the jazz greats but I guess I guess as a collaborative thing like mm-hmm. there'd be nothing better than uh, doing a duet with Stevie Wonder I reckon you he's reckon that, yeah I would love to hear what that sounds like he's got, he's got all of that kind of Motown feel to the way yeah. he produces stuff but mm-hmm. there's there's a real obviously a real jazz element mm-hmm. like his sort of chord progressions and stuff like that are just completely mm-hmm. jazzy um, so he's, he's quite unique quite unique in the way he writes well, what can you tell us about um fairy tales can you describe it for us what do you want people to 
take from the CD? What is it? Is it a combination of your experiences that you've been through in the last 10 years? Or? Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, I come from a classical piano uh-huh. background, so there's quite a lot of classical-esque piano riffs. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a big sound on the album, um, from gospel choirs to strings, but I guess it's a diary of stuff over the last five or six years where I wasn't in such a good place where work had dried up and... I guess I was getting very, very down on myself. Um, I think most actors go through mm-hmm. periods of just like, I don't know how to get ahead. Um, and I got I got a little bit lost emotionally and uh, spiritually. And um, it was really quite therapeutic writing the album. Mm-hmm. I was in a really not so good relationship. And mm-hmm. um, so it's kind of a diary of events with, with a real light at the end. Um, because that was, I finished the album whilst, in my first year of having met Ellie, who I'm with now, mm-hmm. who is definitely my life partner, you know, and um, so thank God to you and your for keeps and all of that came on. It says that the album was written from a dark time going through the time of meeting Ellie, and then the actual title track, the reason it's the title track, Fairy Tales, mm-hmm. um, is kind of a, a summary of the whole thing, really, about the fact that, you know, we're all fed this stuff that the prince kisses the princess. and right. You know, that's that's it, happy ever after. And, yeah. and quite frankly, it's just the beginning. You know, the first kiss is a, is a really, really euphoric moment. And then there's quite a lot of hard work after that. <laughs> yeah, so after the princess kisses the princess, there is a lot of hard well, work yeah. to be done uh, exactly. to maintain the relationship. It's not all fair. Yeah, exactly. I, that. I like that. Um, you have yeah. a uh, DVD released of the tour. Cause you've I've, I've, since then, I've been up in Glasgow filming Waterloo Road. But, um, yeah, the DVD's out. How have your fans been reacting to you as a singer-songwriter? If they're used to, I'm sure they're used to seeing you on screen mostly. But They've just gone for it. I mean, the thing is, like, I hate this kind of thing where, you know, actors, oh, well, you can't be a musician. It's like, well, actually, if you've been an actress since you were a kid, most of us at some point of song and stuff like that like most actors i know can sing i just had the added added bonus of mm-hmm. of learning music so therefore i can write and it's just the fan base that came from lip service absolutely haven't batted an eyelid at it they've just gone they've just totally accepted it and gone yeah and she and she, she also yes well. right and she also sings. i know that the british the british media don't like it when you when you cross over you know um but it's nonsense because it's all it's all artistic and quite often it's all within the same sort of upbringing Mm -hmm. it's all an expression Uh, absolutely well i'm so glad that they have embraced you i've um (laughs) i I like i love the songwriting i feel like i'm taking a journey with you as you described before where you've been where you are now i'm really happy to hear you in love again um the dvd and the cd fairy tales you're selling them at your website the dvd is just going from headpiece.com that's just going from the website but the the album um i guess in the states i think it's on the website um but you can also you can download it on itunes (laughs) heatherpiece.com you need to go there to find out about the dvd and the cd get both of them uh, add them to your collection. Um, it's amazing that she's, you know, so multi-talented and can do so much. And we definitely support that. Um, so what's coming?